In this video, we are going to create an address app in a few simple steps. We just created a new empty environment. First thing we're going to do is to open the app list. In our new workspace, this list will not have any entries yet. Now we add a new app by clicking the new button and we will give it a name, address. The app is now created but does not have any content yet. We open the app designer by clicking the edit button. The first thing we're going to take a look at is the app properties tab. We give our app a title, address and an icon. As we want to save our address entries, we have to define a master table to store our records. There are no tables in our workspace yet, so we create a new one. The bricks box suggests a name, but we have to define a name prefix. We choose ADR, as this reminds us of our table name address. This prefix will make our lives easier in the future when it comes to more complex data queries. Let's now switch over to the structure view. This view shows all the controls in our app and we can edit them from here. We add a new control and choose the control type text box because we want to use this control for the first name. As ID, we define ADR first name and we create a table column. The label is first name as well. All labels will be automatically translated into the user's language. We repeat this for the last name. We add a new control, use the ID ADR last name, create a table column and a label last name. The last thing we want to add is a date box control for the birthday. As ID we choose ADR date of birth and as label date of birth. Now would be a great time to save our app. After saving we can test it in the preview or standalone. We enter a record and save it. To get a menu entry for our app, we take a closer look at the app properties tab again. We have the option to create a menu entry from here and we will be able to edit or move it later in the menu editor. An app can be started as a form or a list view. We choose the list view. To refresh the menu, we have to click on the Bricksbox logo in the upper left corner. Now we got a folder apps with our address app in it. The previously created test record is listed here as well. We could edit this record, delete it or add new records. Thanks for watching and have a lot of fun with the Bricksbox.